Lucy Voddy and likewise was Rapid Toy. In front, Amaru Queen from second Calypso Babe, double digit out wide. Two further back was Camden Dancer, followed by National Digger. Lucy Voddy's found the fence from Eager Beaver and last of all, Rapid Toy. Down the back, it's Amaru Queen out by three. Calypso Babe, second, third was Camden Dancer, followed by double digit Lucy Voddy on the fence, followed by National Digger. Eight further back, Rapid Toy. Three last was Eager Beaver, but around the home turn goes Amaru Queen. It's a minute in front. Amaru Queen by five. Lucy Voddy He's certain in, uh, certainly beaten flying home, but the post too close. Amaru Queen first, Alusi Vodi second, third national digger, followed by double digit Calypso Bay from Eager Beaver, and one of the last ones in was Rapid Toy. Okay, Rodney, thank you very much for that. Doing a good race. They're ready to run. Mobile swings. Waiting for the light, it's there. They're away and racing. Kawatha Hanover had no speed. Lee Maris and Hungerbuster away well. Lord Greystoke goes quickly. Now Thorade and Westburn Grant both go forward, but he has to grab Westburn Grant for the moment. Thorade's going to land 1-1. One, one. Franco Ice back in the pack, but immediately pulling wide. Let's sort them out. Lee Maris goes to the front from Hungerbuster. Now Westburn Grant's able to surge forward. Lord Greystoke in the centre. Thorade's going to follow Westburn Grant, goes in front of Franco Ice. Kawatha had over the insiders. Westburn Grant will go to the front. Then Zulu Lu in the centre. Six metres away in Pramata. Our meter boy settles second last. And last to settle was Tabinaday. They've got two and a half to run. And the favourites are running one and two. Westburn Grant the leader, but Franco Ice moves up on terms. The favourites go together. Eight metres away then to Lee Maris. On the outside, Thorait ends up with the one one, although he hasn't got the back of Franco Ice. Then Lord Greystoker, back on the inside, Hunger Buster, Kawatha Hanover on the rails, two metres away then to Zulu Lu, four metres in Pramata, back on the rails to Binaday, and our metre boy bides its time at the tail, two to run, they steady on top, Westburn Grant the leader by a neck, Franco Ice on the outside, now the lead time is quick, 117.3, in behind them Lee Maris, Thorate getting a dream run now, one by one, Hunger Buster on the inside of Lord Greystoker, then four metres to Zulu Lu, Kawatha Hanover on its inside. Four metres in Pramata, no moves from our metre boy. And to Binaday's on the inside, down the back. Again, Franco Ice draws level with Westburn Grant and keeps the leader honest. They run together. In fact, Franco Ice puts the head clear for a stride or two. Thor 8 parked on them, running third. Lee Maris on the inside, then Lord Greystoker. Back on the rails, Hunger Buster. No moves. Here, we, here comes a move. Our metre boy goes around them three deep. Zulu Lu in front of him hasn't come out yet. Impramata does, though it goes in front of our metre boy. Kawatha Hanover the inside to Binaday last. First quarter 31 2, pretty leisurely for this class. The leader, Westburn Grant. Franco Eyes has had the tougher run, but he again moves up to draw level with the champ. Thor 8 still running on the outside of Lee Maris. Then Lord Greystoke, Hungerbuster. Zulu Lu hasn't made a move at this stage from Kawatha Hanover. Our metre boy three wide, but struggling a little. Impramata went back one off and then to Binaday. 30.6 the second quarter as they race into the back 600 out and Westburn Grant on the inside. Franco Ice on the outside. Westburn Grant a metre clear. Thor 8 hasn't had to come yet. Lee Morris on the inside. Then Lord Greystoker. Zulu Lu pulls out three wide to make his claim. Kawatha Hanover runs on. No run for Hunger Buster. Then our metre boy and Pramata off the back. Westburn Grant he gets busy on him now. He drew a metre and a half on Franco Ice. Thor 8 now comes out three wide. Zulu Lu four wide, five wide, Kawatha Hanover. Then Lee Maris, Lord Greystoker. Westburn Grant got three metres now. Franco Ice under pressure. Thor 8 down the outside. Then Zulu Lu, Kawatha Hanover. Westburn Grant kicked. Thor 8 running him down, but Westburn's hanging on strongly. Too good, Westburn Grant. There's the Grand Circuit champion. Westburn Grant three metres. Thor 8 second, Franco Ice third. Impramata's flash time late, I think, to get fourth from Zulu Lu. Then Lord Greystoke, Lee Maris. Next in Kawatha Hanover, our metre boy, Hungerbuster, and to Binaday last home. Nice touch there as uh, they go past the line. Vicky Frost and uh, Brian Hancock shaking hands. Ten Racing nine. Farmer Wilson a little bit slow. Tallest Peer came out running. Farmer Wilson driving along the rail. Farmer Wilson, Tallest Peer, Lobby Webster's out wide. Tallest Peer pushed it there. 
Coal Black shot up on the inside and Domax at the rear. Heading down the back and Farmer Wilson ran clear by five to Tallest Pier. Coal Black lobby webs to Domax at the rear. Coming onto the turn, Farmer Wilson in front. Here's Tallest Pier chasing it. Farmer's three in front. Tallest Pier's getting with every stride. Farmer Wilson in front. Near home, it's going to hang on. Farmer Wilson by a length on the line to Tallest Pier. Third went to lobby webs to then Domax and Coal Black was at the rear. Two, four and seven, that was the replay race seven from Weddy Park. Farmer Wilson, tallest pier, Lobby Webster, two, four, seven official, 30 and 23 now. Mooney Valley update very quickly. Markovic. Checking I'm a dancer on its outside momentarily. Penny Brown is away quickly. Lennon is away fast off the 40 metres. True Roman away well off the 50. Con's poem has gone for a gallop shortly after the start. As going through on the inside now, Kai Valley Duke takes over. Galloping is Supreme Gent. Taking the sit now second is Penny Brown. Sutherland is third about six metres away, followed by I'm a dancer. Then Maori's Glory settling fifth. Eight metres away, Spiker Light, followed by Richmond Gold. Glenfield Girl is out three wide early. Fifteen metres away, Supreme Gent. Lennon 12 metres away, followed by True Roman, and 35 metres away, Con's Poem. At the 1800, Kai Valley Duke in front, Penny Brown is second, six metres away. Off the track, three wide, Glenfield Girl, the centre, Southern Land, the rail is I'm a dancer, then Mary's Glory, two metres away. On the fence, out of the straight, a spiker light, followed by Richmond Gold, a break of 12 metres, two Supreme Gent, the outside of True Roman, Lennon eight metres away, and 25 metres to Con's Poem. Out of the straight, they race at the 16. The leader is Kai Valley Duke by four metres. Glenfield Girl now travelled up on the outside to sit without cover. After working in the first circuit, a neck away third, Penny Brown. Up on the outside is Southern Land now with cover. On its inside is I'm a dancer. Maori's Glory works up to be three back on the outside of Spiker Light, followed by Richmond Gold. True Roman comes one off the rail from the rear now. Lennon pulls to the outside, three wide. Supreme Gent back on the rail and Con's poem is some 20 metres away. Approaching the turn towards the 11.50. The leader held together Kai Valley Duke by three metres. Two on the outside, Glenfield Girl off the track as Lennon. The leader's back as Penny Brown, two metres to Southern Land. On the rail as I'm a dancer, followed by Mary's Glory. She's had a charmed run. On the rail as Spiker Light, followed by Richmond Gold. True Roman, third last, eight metres away, followed by Supreme Gent and Con's poem tacks up. Out of the straight, they race in the trot at the 800 metres. The leader, Kai Valley Duke by a metre. Glenfield Field Girl has done a power of work on the outside. Out three wide is Lennon. The instant leader's back is uh, Penny Brown. In the centre is Southern Land, followed by Mary's Glory, who now eases to the outside, followed by I'm a Dancer. Four metres to Richmond Gold. True Roman now pulls out, followed by Spiker Light. And 15 metres away, Supreme Gent and Con's Poem. At the 450, Kai Valley Duke is gone. Quickly, Glenfield Girl raced to the lead by two metres. Lennon off the track is still boxing on. In the centre now, Southern Land is getting a run. Mary's Glory pulls to the outside, four wide. Then Penny Brown followed by Richmond Gold. True Roman is well back in the race, followed by I'm a Dancer. And in behind them, Spiker Light at the 200 though, Southern Land. He raced to the lead now. Mary's Glory setting sail on the outside and coming at the leader very quickly at the 120. Southern Land in front, but Mary's Glory has got them. What a mare. Mary's Glory hit the lead near the line and Mary's Glory is racing away. Mary's Glory wins by four metres. Southern Land second, flashing home Spiker Light third, Penny Brown close up with True Roman, I'm a dancer, ran home, then Supreme Gent, Richmond Gold, Lennon Weekend, followed by Glenfield Girl, Kai Valley Duke, and last in was Con's Poem. Okay, Brian, thank you very much. Four, three, and eight, Maori's Glory from number three, second, Southern Land, and eight, Spiker Light has run third. Now they're moving in for the ninth at uh, Penrith. And Rod Fuller, as we cross to you, what a champion horse this Westburn Grand is, winning that uh, race in Adelaide from Thorey. A much improved performance on what we saw in Hobart last Saturday night. Yes, but uh, Westburn Grant, Peter Smith's words, the, the Grand Circuit champion. And what a great horse. Certainly back to its very best after a great win. Westburn Grant at uh, Gloucester Park and now tonight at Globe Derby. All set to go for the ninth event here at Penrith. Ready for a start. They're racing and flying out was Clover's pick and also Amanda Corley with that wide star catch, but Clover's tick.
takes the front and race draw. Went very wide on the turn out of the straight, Clover's pick. Here's a length in front of Star Cash, the inside, who joins it. Two further back, Amanda McCauley, followed by Iron Archer and also Liddy Mink from Chieftain, diving through in the middle. A length and a half, two versatile kid. Last kid, Deception. Down the side, it's Star Cash, a half in front of Amanda McCauley. Clover's pick out wide. Chieftain in the middle, but straightening up, and Star Cash gets away a length in front. Amanda McCauley won't get it. Star Cash. Star Cash beat Amanda McCauley. Third out the Chieftain, or Clover's pick, followed next by Liddy Mink and Iron Archer. Behind those came Versatile Kid and last of all was Kid Deception. OK, Rod, thank you. The reserve gets the money. Star Cash, number two, has run second. Amanda Corley and probably Chieftain over on the inside third.